is a simple list of 10 two-word prayers. Yes, two-word prayers. Are there more prayers? I, of course, but I, I wanted to get you going. Too many people don't pray because they're waiting for an official prayer meeting or a sign in the sky or a feeling that's holy or a feeling that's desperate enough. Don't wait, activate, detonate. So here we go, 10 two-word prayers. Now remember, all of these prayers are by faith in Christ Jesus. This, this is critical, in Christ Jesus, and that's essential to activation. So number one, this is a great prayer. Help me. The Psalmist David made these kind of prayers famous. He prayed one, you can read it in Psalm 109, verse 26, help me. Number two, guide me. We need guidance for a simple road trip, don't we? Why not for life, especially from God who ordained life. So pray, guide me. Number three, this is such a good prayer. Fill me. Why is that so important? Because empty talks will motivate you to do desperate things. So empty people are dangerous because emptiness invites bad influences. So pray, fill me God, fill me. And you pray again, all in the name of Jesus. Number four, powerful, heal me. Again, Psalm 6 verse 2 cuts through the clutter and the petitions to God, heal me. You pray this, just like Psalm 6 verse 2, heal me. The psalmist prayed it, heal me. Number five, this is good. Once, once you realize that you can pray for yourself to be healed, pray for others. Be healed. As a child of God, learn to pray this over the sick, over your family, over your children. Pray in the name of Jesus. Be healed for family, friends, even for people you don't know. You can walk into a hospital room and pray the most powerful prayer for an individual laying in a sick bed. Be healed. Number six, light be. Look, I've learned to pray this into dark situations like God did at the very beginning in the book of Genesis. Pam and I pray this together. In situations when we don't know what to do or we're looking for an answer, we'll say, light be. And we pray it all in the name of Jesus. Number seven, this is such a good one for deliverance. Be free, a powerful prayer to set captives free from addiction, from um, depression, from sorrow, from deception. Be free, pray for your children. Be free, I pray for my dear son. Be free, pray for your daughter, for your father, pray for your grandparents, be free. Number eight, here's a good prayer, rise up. Pray this over a person, you can pray this over your business, you can pray this over a marriage. Jesus prayed this over the lame, the paralyzed, and over the dead, rise up. Number nine, oh I love this one. Peace be. Jesus spoke this in the middle of a storm, and guess what? The elements, the wind and the waves, they obeyed. You can speak peace be to your mind, to somebody else's mind, who they just feel like they're in chaos, they're in turmoil. You can speak it over your family. You can speak it over your home. Peace be. We have visitors coming to our home all the time, and people walk in, and you know what the first thing they say is? There seems to be so much peace in this place. It's because Pam and I are always authorizing, in the name of Jesus, peace be. And number 10, be exalted. This is worship. When God is exalted in your life, the gloves are off. All things are possible. God's presence is made supreme in your life. And where he shows up, where God shows up, the supernatural abounds. It's bound to follow. There is great joy in God's presence. Pleasures at his right hand and forevermore. So you can speak in a prayer just two words that glorifies God and say, be exalted. Again, all these two word prayers, they're powerful. Not because of how much you're talking or praying. They're powerful because of who he is and what you're praying in the authority of Jesus' name. That honors God the Father. If you'd like me to send you this list of 10 two word prayers, I'll give you a simple link at the end of this message. 
I'll even write them out for you and send them to you so that you can print them out. Tape them on your fridge, on your mirror, someplace where you'll see them and be reminded every day to pray these powerful prayers. Prayer's not hard, and it can be so much fun, especially when you're getting results. Do you know what is difficult? A life without the benefits of praying with results. 